What is this? An offering to Poseidon. The Greeks are praying for a safe return home. Number 10, the Trojan horse. I think we should burn it. Burn it, my prince, it's a gift to the gods. Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, describes the 10-year Trojan War, and facts suggest the tale isn't fictional. So how big was this lie? As big as the Trojan horse, the giant wooden structure the Greeks offered to the Trojans to admit their loss. The catch? Ulysses, the plan's inventor, hid inside with some soldiers, and following the Trojans' celebration, the Greeks exited the horse and torched the town. The Trojan horse remains one of the more elaborate and to this day well-known political fabrications in history. Granted, it may not have been political in the scope we think of today, button-down shirts, backroom dealings, cash being tossed about like so much candy. But in the end, it was all about politics. One group seeking to dominate another through whatever means necessary, with the first and foremost thought being deception, sleight of verbal hand, misdirection, stretching the truth. The belief is still out there, and it is sincerely thought to be 100% accurate at all times, is that you are just not that smart. You're easily swayed. You'll fall for it all, even if they be of the little white variety. And you'll never do anything to seek out what might be the seamy underbelly of comments, pronouncements, and more often than not, rhetoric. Welcome to politics. We here at Midpoint begin every single broadcast day with the same idea in mind. Ask questions from both sides. Show no favor. Get to the bottom of what are the stories that are either directly impacting you or those you may indeed have something to say about how you live your life and how life impacts what you do. We believe there's an intelligent audience that demands to hear the facts capable of making up their own mind without being body and brain slammed with hyperbole and internet generated stories that are noted as facts but often contain less. We believe Americans have the capacity to not just sift through the verbal flotsam and jetsam of an extremely loud world but are receptive to having someone, as we put it here, question everything. There's nothing wrong with it, because someone who is confident in their position, no matter what it is or no matter what it's based upon, if you're confident in your position, then you should never mind when someone questions it. Your convictions should be more than enough to uphold your beliefs. And as someone convinced and sure in their belief, there should never be a question with having it questioned, and then have those questions shared with everybody. Brings us to this latest example where something needs to be asked. Admonishments, perhaps, and what is to many a heart in the right place that needs to be put into the proper perspective. I'm the governor of the state of Texas. My citizen's safety is what's uh, foremost here and I uh, hadn't got anything to do with anything other than those numbers of individuals who are coming across the border. Uh, and when you think about the idea that some of them are from uh, countries that have substantial terrorist ties, whether it's Pakistan or Afghanistan or Syria, we are historic record highs with individuals being apprehended from those countries. We say it's time to secure the border. Hadn't got anything to do with anything other than the American citizens expect Washington to respect the Constitution and secure the border. One of the things that's actually enumerated in the Constitution, we'd like for them to do their duty. With all due respect to the governor and due respect to a man who sees his state and population under financial and societal siege from the immigration deluge that has overwhelmed Texas in recent weeks, there's no proof whatsoever that we are at historic record highs with individuals being apprehended from countries such as Libya, Syria, Iran, Afghanistan, take your pick. The governor made a claim like this earlier this year, also at that time found not to be truthful. The governor has also recently cited higher murder rates and assaults he claims were committed by recent immigrants. Yes, there has been a spike in crime in some areas, but not to the levels cited. Governor Perry is not incorrect in noting what is happening at the border, the chaotic manner in which it's been handled by this presidential administration, and the anger of citizens who feel as if their country has abandoned them. But the governor can make a hard and valid point without resorting to tactics and statistics. The truth is out there, and it's harsh enough to make the point that what is happening at the border is more than wrong and more than an affront to what this country should stand for. Stand with the facts, Governor Perry. They are more frightening when put into proper context than any amount of stretching the truth. And that is telling it like it is. Coming up next hour here on Midpoint, border states in America that are nowhere near Mexico. Facts about what Ebola in America really means. And is anyone really shocked that the CIA is spying on the Senate or the Germans are spying on John Kerry for that matter? Join us here on Midpoint where we question everything.